Hey, what's up, guys? It's Pat, and welcome back to Minecraft Epic Proportions. And I have good news. I've made us a new backpack. I killed a couple more cows, so now we have plenty of room in our inventory to grab awesome stuff. Although I have noticed that my Hades armor is breaking. It's gonna fall apart soon. Might have to go back and fight one of those bosses again to replace it, because I love my armor. I think it's awesome. But anyways, we are heading to this biome that we have not been to yet. I don't think we have. Pretty sure we haven't. We're so close to that that hot air balloon right there. We can almost jump to it. So this is a glacier biome. I mean, you can tell. It's all like ice and snow. It's kind of terrifying. But we're going to head to the top, see if any structures even spawn here. I have no idea. There might be cool mobs, too. There's actually some water. Surprised. I don't know if they're supposed to be or if that's kind of like one of the ice things melted. How do I get to the top of this? I have no idea. I'm gonna try to get over there. We can see the whole land from there. And then we can see if there's anything awesome around us. But obviously the hot air balloons are really probably easy to get to in this biome. Trying to get up here, I can see through the ice kind of. And we are very high up and very far away from our house. We're like 1500 meters away. Damn, we are high up now. Alright, so let's see if we can get a view of the land here. Seems to be hot air balloons like all over the place for some reason. We're saying goodbye to that village. It's starting to disappear. Goodbye. Alright, so if we open up the map here. Oh no! Could this possibly end out with another dead end? I hate dead ends. Then I always have to go over the ocean. I have a plan. A plan. We're gonna get on the dragon and, and we're gonna go. We need to get further away from our house, I think. Hope we head down this way. I'm not really sure. We're gonna go past the millionaire. Not that it's not a millionaire village. The floating village in this direction. It is so large, isn't it? All right, guys. This seems like a better choice because you know we're actually further away from the house, and it's an even different biome. So we're gonna go here. I, d I didn't mean to get on you. Don't grab me like that. They're kind of cool trees. Now we are in the alpine forest, I guess. Just says alpine. Very high up. Lots of cows around in case we need a. Make more backpacks out of them. I feel bad. My backpack is made out of a cow. All right. Wow. These these like mountains are so cool. I hope that there's cool things around though. I want some more treasures. More treasures. Let's see if we can make this jump. Probably can. Ugh. I see a, like a really tiny boat down there. Like the smallest boat in the world. You zoom in. There it is. It's got a little pumpkin on it. It's your reward <laughs> for getting to it. Yeah, it's not the best reward. I see a structure, guys. I see something in the distance. It's very small. There's a cow next to it. I'm surprised they like this climate. I mean, it's very cold. You'd think that they would freeze to death or something. How's that floating? It'd be cool if there's a structure on something floating. I've never seen something like that before. Well, I figure since we're here and, you know, we can always get more backpacks since we're out exploring anyway, I do have a lot of free space, but I could always have more. So come here, cows. I get their food and <laughs> I get their leather. All right, how much did I get from that? I have seven. I need eight to actually make another backpack. All right, what the hell is this? This decrepit home. These things are everywhere. Never anything good. I know. I, I always dig down. I always pray that there's going to be like something really amazing like a diamond under there. But, th but there never is. Let's see, so many cows. Okay, I gotta kill a couple more if I want to get more backpacks. Sorry, guys. I apologize for this. I really don't have a choice. I hope you understand. One more. <laughs> Gonna have like 10 backpacks with me. Alright, let's take a look at the map here. So we have to go in this direction. And what the hell is that thing that I see on the map? Find out in a second. It's right over this. And it is a... I have no idea. Is it that tree? No. Oh, it's one of those giant trees. Those big ones. We'll take a look. And what is that? I saw something weird. Was that a sheep? Were you a sheep? Yeah, you're a sheep. It's a gray sheep. Usually they're not this color. It surprised me a little bit. I didn't expect to see one being gray. I do like these. We should actually see if it's possible to like chop it. Because we've had some good luck trying to chop down weird trees. Probably won't work. Oh my god, it worked! <laughs> it worked! We chopped it down, sort of. I want to get up there and finish it off. Let me get up here. I have way too much wood on me now. I have no idea what to do with it. Let me 
See this? Why would I take my axe out of my inventory? I, I can't even answer that question because I don't know. All right, we're up here now. And how are we going to do this? It's all going to fall on my head probably. Try this. Okay. Fall. <laughs> how about right here? Oh, I can't break the middle part. But wow, that was not expected. Okay. So there's lava here. We need to get rid of the lava. Let me just put some wood in there. There we go. So the trap is gone. And we can get the chest. Most annoying space ever. So we do have a shovel now. I mean, we didn't have a shovel last time we were at one of these. Now this should go nice and quickly. I'm expecting something amazing this time. Chain armor. That's, you know, it's so good. I'll take my bone. Take a bone out of this. Oh, man. So I think I'm going to go across the land until I actually find something cool. I want to get further away and find something awesome. I mean, there's some cool biomes, but they don't seem to have any structures in them. All right, guys. I was lucky enough to find more land. Hopefully this isn't an island. There's another millionaire village here. I swear I'm having the worst luck with the millionaire people because I still have not found a forge. I need a forge to buy the axe for that damn quest. Never going to get it. It's a cool tree. And we are in the savanna. I, I actually thought that was what it was. Ooh, it's another one of those giant <laughs> ships loading right now. The only thing that's good about it is the TNT. Maybe we should get that. I think Bami would appreciate that a lot. What's up? Anything cool in here? What if I killed you? Would you be mad? I'm mad at your people. So now I'm going to destroy them all. Until I find a forge and then I'll be friendly. I've got another wand. I don't even know what these are for. It's like a way to show that you're an evil murderer. Alright, giant ship. And I know that Bami would appreciate that we got the TNT and did some kind of explosion in remembrance. I don't think... Oh, what the hell happened there? That was weird. Did you see that? I went towards it and then everything disappeared and then it came back. And like refreshed the map for some reason. Do I have any flint and steel? I have... Fl oh, I think I can make flint and steel, can't I? Alright, cool. Alright, give me all this. Alright, we're gonna take all the TNT from this place. And there'll be an explosion in remembrance of Bami. Because, you know, Bami wasn't with us long. But it was my coolest pet ever. Really was. Alright, getting all this TNT. There's plenty of it. Alright, I think there's one more section of it like over there could be wrong find out in one second shouldn't there be like another thing of it over here i don't even remember i want to get it all together okay so we have 57 and i should have iron ingots in one of these i'm extremely hungry right now extremely hungry and we have got iron ingots right there and we got this guys we can do this remember which way it goes is it like this it stops away. There we go. Flint and steel. All right, and I have 57 of these explosives. And I would never blow up such a beautiful ship. That would just be wrong. You can't do that, guys. This is a nice ship. I can't blow it up, but I can blow up that person's house. Because I don't like them very much. Those millionaire people are evil. I didn't realize that they were until I tried to save one of their lives. Because he was stuck in the, he was stuck in the wall. I mean, that was, that was helpful what I did for him. And then he tried to hit me with an axe. That's just mean. So this house, say goodbye to this house. It's going to blow up really badly. All right, Bami. This is for you and for the millionaire village people that I do not like anymore. All right. We, luckily, we have plenty of this. We have plenty of TNT. Try to make sure that this actually explodes well. I'm sure it will. And then I get the hell away from it after. It's probably important. All right, this is this is looking nice. Got it. Think we need a little bit more on the top here, a little bit more. Make sure it explodes. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I am gonna hit this and run. All right, for Bami. Don't kill me somehow. Oh man! And there we go. Goodbye, millionaire. And apparently TNT doesn't break chests. I guess. Who would have known? Um, maybe it would have if they were closer. So that house is gone. <laughs> Screw you, millionaire people. <laughs> Screw you. All right, we showed him who was boss there. I feel much better about myself. And, 
you know, Bami helped us with that explosion. This is such a cool structure, isn't it? It's ridiculous. That's why I couldn't blow it up. Wouldn't do that. Looks like the savannah actually continues and the ship is actually in between it. It's like on the savannah. Can't believe it can load like that. What's up, chickens? What's going on? Where are we headed here? These trees look really weird on the mini-map. Okay, so I don't know if this is going to end up being like a massive island or what. Whoa. Mineshaft. Hmm. All right. I don't think we have a choice here. Mineshaft time. Let's go. Okay, so there is a mine shaft. Haven't explored one in a while. How many torches do we have? I've got eight of these. It's kind of low. I'm sure. I've got coal, though. And there's wood everywhere. It's a mine shaft. All right, that's like a dead end. Let's see where we can go in here. Why's everything got to be like dead ended? All right, we've got a shovel. I mean, that's very important. All right, does there happen? Oh, yep, it goes down this way. All right, let me put down some torches. Keep it light in here. So we might see some crazy stuff. I'm not sure which kinds of mobs we're going to see. And there is already a chest. It's got coal in case we didn't have it. Melon seeds, pumpkin seeds, and a dungeon. What kind of spawner is that? It's the Liz Fallos or whatever spawner. I didn't realize that there would be those kinds of spawners around here. It's cool. I don't, I don't know what to do with it. Let me see what we get here. There's two chests which we deserve. I had no idea that was possible. Damn, it's so cool how these mobs work together. Like, I can get, like, a freaking, like, dungeon mob spawner instead in a dungeon. Alright, we got a couple saddles. Draconic sword. Glass sword is crap. I'm gonna take the draconic. Um, since I have more room and stuff, I'll take the bucket and the bread. Another molten sword. I have so many of those. Don't need the enchanted book. I need the gunpowder. Let's see. Anything else? So, as I said before, I did make another backpack so I can, you know, shove stuff in here that we're not going to be using, like, at the moment. Which is a lot of this stuff. Got purple flowers. I don't know how I got them, but I did. Alright, where does this lead? Hold on, we can switch this here. If I go to this and switch it to cave. It's hard to tell where everything goes, but it looks like that this direction might be a better choice. There's something to the left of us. We gotta go this way, I think. Alright, yeah. Yeah, it looks like in... Hold on. If I go right through here, there might be something. Use my good pickaxe. Where is it? Is it below? It could be below. I'm trying to find... <laughs> where to go here. I don't think we're very high up either. We are at height 38. We're lower than I thought. Definitely lower than I thought. Savannah's must be very low. Where the hell is this place? Is it higher or lower? It's probably higher, actually. Damn you. It's hard for me to tell on the mini-map, because you know how it's, like, faded? It's actually probably right above my head, huh? I could have went this way. <laughs> that was genius by me. Give me this iron. Okay, so hold on a second. Oh, I forgot. I remember my old pickaxe. I don't think I brought it with me. You know, it could actually turn them into ingots. So we will destroy this. And go through. All right, there we go. There we go. There's gravel all over this place. Why so much gravel here? Gravel everywhere. Grab these. This pickaxe is starting to starting to die on me. It's okay if it does. I can always fight the Terran boss again. I have all the materials to fight those things anyway. I had no idea I would end up mining today. I just... I had no idea. All of a sudden, we're in a cave. I saw a mine shaft. It was perfect. Perfect timing. Who would have known? All right, let me get that. See, there's some. Oh god, that scared me actually. <laughs> Where's the one that's over here? Hard to tell. I'm trying to go by the mini map, making it very difficult for me to tell, especially with all this damn stuff in the way. I'm trying to get it. Okay, so if I go straight here, it's either lower or upper. It's below this time. There we go. That's a. Everything's a dead end here. I don't like this mine shaft. I don't like it at all. There's even a cave, like, right here. How do I light this place up? Like that? <laughs> I don't have a lot of torches. I should make some. But anyways, guys, we are going to do the fanchion right now. I know I just lit the whole, like, mine shaft on fire on purpose. But today's winners were Vincent, Panzarelli, Chocolate Chip 410, and Skiller 722. So congrats to you guys. 
Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and to subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time.